Leland Blues man Pat Thomas also likes to sketch cats. This passion influenced marketing professional Roger Stolle to create the Cat Head Store. The name comes from three things. There's cat head biscuits in the south, which are generally described as a biscuit the size of a cat's head. Very southern, of course, food's positive. Uh, also, there are the cat head drawings of Pat Thomas from Leland, who's a folk artist and blues musician friend, and he just calls all of his uh, cat drawings cat heads. And the third reason would be all the blues record labels that have animal names. Cathead is at the heart of downtown Clarksdale, within a few blocks of several restaurants, museums, art galleries, and blues clubs. These venues are part of the renaissance that is Clarksdale. A multi-million dollar program is existing right now in this community, and it has uh, six pillars that it's studying to improve the quality of life, for instance, in education, a broad study, a deep study is going on. Where are we going to uh, be in the future of Clarksdale? Vacant buildings are common in many cities. However, the combination of museums, nightclubs, restaurants, and loft apartments create a buzz of activity in downtown Clarksdale. In fact, 54 properties are being renovated. There's, there are a lot of approaches for attack. This is a target-rich environment for revitalization, so much so that we um, narrowed the uh, area of focus down to Second Street to Martin Luther King and DeSoto to Sunflower. And tying it all together, Cathead Stolle and others create a weekly list of events and live performances so that residents and visitors always have something to do. Because the thing about Clarkstone, Mississippi is the blues never died here. Uh, many towns it died and they tried to bring it back, some with varying success, but it always was going here in some form every week. Maybe not every night, but every week. We now have it to where every week in Clarksdale, Monday through Saturday nights, we have at least one venue going with blues, oftentimes on Sunday as well. In Clarksdale, Woodrow Wilkins, WXVT, Delta News.